In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add AdSense to your BBPress forums by editing the template files. It's really straightforward, it's totally free, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and add AdSense to our BBPress forums. I'll see you there. So if you already have BBPress installed, you probably have a page like this called Forums or called something else with this short code, and this short code is what produces the forum on the actual page. If you're not at this point yet, Watch the BBPress installation tutorial that I have linked to down below so you can get it installed, get it set up, and actually have this forum page. And if we go and view this page, it has the actual forums in there. I've added three already. You probably have blank if you just started, or you might have a whole bunch there, depending on how many forums you have going on. And you can add these AdSense ads and even other ads at the beginning of your forum process when you're first building it, or years later. You can always add them in at any point. Now to add them in the free way, we have to manually edit the template files. There is a paid plugin called Advanced Ads. It's 29 bucks. It allows you to do it automatically without any coding, without having to access the PHP templates. But if you're okay with accessing the PHP and messing around in PHP files and you want to do it for free, this is how you do it. So we hop into our file manager. This is my cPanel account for that website. I'm going to open a file manager. You can get here via your FTP client as well if you're, if you're more comfortable with that. I'm going to open the public folder, WP Content, Plugins, find the BBPress plugin, which is here. Open that, open templates, then default, then BBPress, and now we have all the files here that actually create those pages. Now this very front page is this first file here, Content Archive Forum. Click on that to highlight it, click on Code Editor, and in here is where you're going to want to put your AdSense code. Now if we read through this we can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Up here there's a form search function. If we go back to our page here, there's the search field. If we go back to our template, here's the breadcrumb function that produces the breadcrumbs right here. This is called the breadcrumb linking system. Here we have subscribe link, template for the forms index. That's what creates the actual forms with that. This loop here, sorry, is what creates the actual forms. So if we want to have an ad placed at the very top of the page, so say right under forms, but in between forums and the breadcrumbs. We'd go into here, and some of this will be trial and error. Some of it you'll know right away, but if we put in here um, AdSense code, click on Save Changes. Now as long as we enter that text outside of the PHP functions, it won't break anything. So here's where that text appeared. So if we paste actual AdSense code into here, this is where that ad will appear. Now if you want it to go below the form or below the form list. Let's just copy it from here. Or sorry, cut it from there. Go below the loop. Paste it in there. Just make sure you don't interact with any of the PHP. Keep the code you're typing outside of the PHP elements. Save that, refresh this page. Now it's not appearing. So clearly that's not a good spot to put that. Some of this will be trial and error. So let's just go right to the bottom here. Let's put it right here. Save. Okay, so now we have the AdSense code down below. So we know that we can put the code here to have it appear down below. We put it up here to have it appear above. And just to show you what it looks like if you break something, so let's just break the loop by removing that P. Refresh this page, and our loop is going to be broken. The page isn't working at all. If this happens, you broke your PHP somehow. So we have to go back and figure out what it was. For me, we know what it was because I just took that P out. But you got to make sure that if that happens, you got to go through and figure out what you did wrong and fix that piece. Otherwise, the page won't load again. Quick fix, of course, is deleting the plugin, installing a new one. But then that kind of counteracts all the work you did, getting your AdSense ads in there. So that's the forum homepage. If we pick any of these actual forums and open them, like general discussion, for example, we have more places where you could possibly post AdSense code, depending where you want it. So this page template is this one right here, content, single, forum, PHP. So we open that in code editor, and now we have something that looks very similar as before, a bunch of PHP functions that we don't want to mess with. If we want to have ads at the very beginning, put it in the same spot at the very top. So let's put AdSense ad 
top right there. Save changes, refresh this page, see what happens. And we see the ad appearing above the breadcrumbs but below the title right there. So let's say we want to put an ad above the listing of the topics. So we read through here, we can often, even if you don't have a lot of experience with PHP, you can read through and figure out what is happening where. So down here we have a loop for the topics. So this is gonna be producing all the topics. So let's type in here, AdSense add above topics. I'm also gonna add another one, just below that, AdSense add below topics. And if that works out how I expect it to, we have an AdSense ad here above the topics and one here below the topics. Now we also have our form to fill stuff out. Maybe we wanna have an AdSense ad at the very bottom of the page after the form. So if we go back in here, this is the function that creates the form, but I don't wanna be in the, all these end if statements. I'm just gonna go right to the very bottom and I'm gonna type in AdSense code, very bottom, save, and that should put it at the very end of the page. So we have our AdSense code. Now, as you know, this is four spots. We have that spot below the topics, above the topics, and at the very top. And you're only allowed three per page. So I'm not saying you should do all four of these spots. I'm just showing you where to add the code depending on where you want it to appear. And you probably want to have ads on the individual topics as well. So if you click into one of those, we see there's a lot of possible spots to put ads. Again, the top, before the replies, after the replies, to get them in between the replies, you have to attach a function that creates the AdSense code inside of the loop for the replies, which is way beyond the scope of this tutorial. It's very, very advanced. If you want to do that, you're best served with that premium plugin, AdSense Ads, 29 bucks. You can have your ads in between the replies, which is a lot easier, no coding involved. He created all the custom code for you and you just use it to your advantage, basically. So if we wanna add ads to this page, we head over, we find the content single topic file, open it in the code editor. Again, at the very top, let's put AdSense add top. Now they have some experience in here, we don't have to refresh every time. So we have the breadcrumbs here, a bunch of other stuff. We're looking for replies, because that's what this page is about. So we, here we have a loop for the replies, pagination for replies above the loop and below it. So we could add AdSense add here above replies. And then we'll add another one, maybe below the replies. Then we'll add one at the very end. Click on save, refresh this page and see where all those text snippets end up. So the very first one, add something out of the top. Here's one above the replies. Here's one below the replies. And here's one at the very bottom. And again, to get them in between the replies, that's way more advanced beyond the scope of this tutorial, but it is possible. If you wanna add ads to individual users, so let's say you wanna add an ad on the user page, maybe at the bottom or, or somewhere. We go back into our form files, find the single user file, click on code editor. So here we have the file that generates the user's page. Wanna have an ad at the very end. Let's just put in AdSense ad. There, save it, refresh. Now we have our AdSense ad appearing right there. So that's all there is to adding these ads. If we go back into the file manager, all of these PHP files create your BBPress forum. So if you find a page where there isn't an ad, but you want one there, find the corresponding PHP file. They're named quite well. So you should be able to find it. If you can't find it, leave a comment down below this video. We'll find it together. But you just open that file, make sure you don't mess with the PHP, add your AdSense code, and you should be ready to rock and roll. One big problem with this method is when there's an update to BBPress, the plugin, your changes might be overwritten depending what files are updated. So that could mean a lot of lost work time for you, which is not good. And there is no such thing as a child plugin, so you can't just duplicate the plugin as a child and never have to update it again. Plugins need to be updated for security reasons quite often. So the best solution around that, if you're really concerned about losing that work, is again, going with the paid option called Advanced Ads. It's $29 for the premium. I know I keep harping on it. I'm not trying to sell it to you. What I'm trying to say is it's safer. There's no coding involved. You're not going to break the PHP. Updates to BBPress aren't going to break the plugin. All your stuff will still be there and still be functioning BBPress. For $29, it honestly is worth your time to, to save that time and not have to duplicate your work if there's an update to the plugin. That's about it. Other than that, poke around in here, get your AdSense ads online and start monetizing your forum. So that's how easy it is to add AdSense to BBPress forums. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. 
If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appear on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.